Today we are going to make this card. It's a pinwheel card. I uh, saw this on Pinterest. It was on JK Cards uh, WordPress blog and I just loved it and I had to make it. And I've changed the colors from what he used, from what Justin used. Um, a piece of DSP cut at three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And I'm going to use this uh, polka dot parade uh, DSP. And to make the the pinwheel part of it, you just want to um, kind of find the center. And so I'm going to draw a light pencil mark corner to corner and cut in toward on those lines uh, towards the center, stopping about an inch or so um, from the center. Erase those lines. You won't be able to see them, but if um, you make make them faint. To, to fold it in for for the pinwheel, you want to put a little of, uh, of the snail uh, adhesive on the same corner of each each one. So here I'm taking the top left, just put a little piece, and on this one, it's the, if you turn it a quarter, uh, top left a little, a little bit, top left, and again final one. And these are the, this is the new paper piercing mat from Stampin' Up! and the paper uh, piercing tool. So again, start that top left, bring it into the center, and do the same with all the pieces that you have the adhesive on. And just stick them down. Just work your way around, overlap them. There you go. Now we just pierce down to the center. Red. I'm using red. It's my color scheme here. All these spark a red sparkle yeah. one. Oh. And brush a bread through and open the, the back up. I want to do some embossing with the polka dot folder. So just um, this is cut at four by five and a quarter and just line that up and then run it through your big shot. And the other thing you want to put through your big shot is we want to do a little bit of stamping and we have this nice stamp set, Itty Bitty Banners and we're going to make this a birthday card. The clear stamps, they uh, store so easily and this is um, real red and there's the new foam um, stamping pad. Just ink that up. Stamp. You know, oh, upside down. Is, um, we have this coordinating um, framelits, the Biddy Banners. Coordinate, coordinates with the Biddy Banner uh, stamp set. And this is uh, the, the framelit. And just line that up. And before, before you put it through um, the big shot. If I have a sticky note here, uh, with sticky sides on this end, and just lay that across. And then when you put it through your big shot, the framelit won't move. So now um, I've got a wood dowel. This is what we're going to put our um, win a pinwheel on. And I've cut it at three inches. And, uh, These are grow green stitch ribbon, a quarter inch, uh, real red. Wrap that around and just like that. You don't even need very much. And it's just uh, snip that to however long you think you might like. I think I like about three quarters of an inch. Take our uh, embossed with the polka dots. Put a little snail on that. And this card is comes together rather quickly. And uh, so easy when you have Stampin' Up's coordinated uh, materials where the get red ink, red ribbon. On the skewer, I'm going to put um, glue dots on each end. I've um, at the bottom here of my grid paper, I lined it up and then I know I, where to center it. Back of my uh, pinwheel, I'm going to put uh, a dimensional right next to the where the legs came out. 
And then I'm going to line up my dimensional, I mean, my brad with my skewer. And then turn it so until the pinwheel is at a doesn't hang off the edge of my uh, cardstock. And right about there looks nice. And then just pop it down. And for my bitty banner, my happy birthday banner, I'm also going to use uh, glue dots. Because with the polka dotted um, em um, embossing, uh, I think that the glue dots help adhere it a little bit better. And then just lay that across your skewer.